In this video, we'll show you how to install CabinetSense, show you what it did for you, and then also show you how you could set it up for a production environment. Let's start by going to the CabinetSense website, go to the download page, and download the product. Now that we've done that, head back to SketchUp, Extension Manager, and this is the same whether you're in a Mac environment or Windows, and click on Install Extension. Go to the Downloads folder and click on Cabinet Sense. Agree to the license. Okay, Cabinet Sense is now installed and is asking you for your Cabinet Sense license. If you've already received your license in an email, copy the information and paste it into the text area. If you're new, click on the register for two week trial. Enter your email address first that you want to use to register with Cabinet Sense. Fill out the form and create my account. And when you do that, Cabinet Sense will almost instantaneously send you an email with your license information. So go to that email, and this is what it would look like, and copy this portion of the email. In fact, you could copy the entire email if you want. Click on Copy, back to SketchUp, and paste it into the text area. Click Add License. The second step of the install, Cabinet Sense is now going to go back to the website and download the latest library. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. And we recommend saving it in your documents folder, a network drive, or maybe best yet, in the cloud. That way you can share it whether you're at work, whether you're at home, with colleagues, etc. Cabinet Sense will use the library to add our own cabinet components into the SketchUp browser add our templates into the SketchUp templates folder, and also link in our machining database. I'm going to store it in my documents. I'll create a new folder and save it there. And it'll take five to 10 seconds for the library to download and for all the various parts to be installed into SketchUp. Okay, we're done. Um, so our components have now been installed into the component browser. And we'll go take a look at that. If you do not have the default tray set up or on the Mac, you would just simply go to window and then Choose, if you're in Windows, you go Default Tray, and it'll say Show Tray. Or if you're on the Mac, uh, there'll be an option for Components. Click on the Components. Click on the down arrow. And here is where Cabinet Sense has installed its components. We can click on it. And there we go. Also, we have installed our templates into the SketchUp template folder. So when we go to the Files section of the SketchUp Preferences, click on the folder, and these are the four templates that Cabinet Sense has installed for you. And so you can use them if you so choose. Um, you could have also, sorry, I'll just bring that back, if you want to make it a default, you could click on the Templates section and choose the template folder that you want to make as your default folder or a default template. The other way to do it is simply do a new from template and choose My Templates and there are your four templates again. As I mentioned, CabinetSense has also linked in the machining database. 
So if you click on the CNC Preferences, down at the bottom, in your Documents folder, which is where we store the library, it is linked in the database from that uh, folder as well. Now Cabinet Sense uses a Microsoft Access database. Um, so if you're in Windows, click on the Microsoft Access icon. And if you already have Access installed in your machine, then the database opens. If it doesn't, head over to your browser and search for Download Microsoft Access 2013 Runtime. Make sure you're at the Microsoft site. And click on the download. Choose the language of your choice. After you've downloaded and installed it, go back to SketchUp and click on your database icon again. It should load properly. Okay, let's talk about how you would set this up for production. When we downloaded the library, we stored it in our Documents folder. I could have stored it in the cloud. And if I would have done that, I could share that cloud folder uh, with everybody. And this is how you do it. Simply go to the right uh, arrow, open or create a local collection, and navigate oops, uh, documents. Navigate to where you stored it and just hover over the cabinet sense folder and select folder. And if add to favorites is not hi is highlighted, make sure you click it and then it will save it in your favorites section for you. And from now on, this is the one you'll use. This is the one that points directly to where you have your library. And if it's in the cloud, then all everybody can point to the same place. Finally, from time to time, Cabinet Sense will release new components, upgraded uh, components, etc. And you might want to go back to the website and get the latest library. And you can do that by going here. Again, we get the message box saying, where do you want to store it? And this time I'm going to, I'll create a new library or a new folder. Simply call it CS2 and save it in there. This time around, after the download is finished, Cabinet Sense will ask you whether or not you want to install these components into SketchUp. And I'm going to say yes. We're done. And so if we go back, we've now got two local copies, the first copy and the one we just downloaded. And every time you download a new library, it will just increment the number. And that's all it takes to install CabinetSense. Thank you very much for watching.